I am beautiful. I am worthy. I am fertile. My fertility goddess. Hello, my beautiful fire sign fertility goddesses. Welcome to your weekly fertility guidance <laughs> message. Um, I keep wanting to say empowerment. So maybe this week someone is going to empower you um, throughout your journey. Okay, maybe you're going to receive some help from some helpful people. We did have that card flip over as I was shuffling the angel answers deck. So maybe someone's going to come through and empower you and help you move forward this week. Um, because I keep wanting to say weekly empowerment message. Okay, so hopefully this message helps you or it helps empower you in some way as well. Um, this message is covering the week of, what are we looking at, Spirit? April 11th through April 17th, okay? So April 11th through April 17th in your fertility journey. If you're trying for a baby, this is a message to be looking at, okay? Spirit will give us some actions to take this week as well as some affirmations, um, some overall energy for your week as well as a yes or no answer to help you along with a question that you may be having at this time. Um, if you don't have a question now, you can hold on to it and come back to it later. Come back to that part later um, and just look at the answer. Um, and what else? Oh, congratulations to our winners for this week. Okay, so each week, if you're new, um, welcome, first of all, that each week from the weekly guidance videos, I choose one goddess from each element. So fire, earth, um, air, and water. Okay, so... Um, this is for my fire signs. So definitely if you are a fire sun sign, then definitely put your name, date of birth down below. Um, if you've entered before, then I'm going to keep your name on the will until you win. Okay. Um, or until I just, I feel like I'm not offering the free reads anymore. Our spirit's like, okay, take a break, whatever it is. Um, but your name is still on the will if you have not won and you've entered before. Okay. Um, if you entered and you didn't see your name on the will, then definitely, um, take this time to put your name down below and I'll add your name to the will. So congratulations to our goddess for this week. Please email me before April, what is it? Before April 15th, definitely before April 15th for your reading, um, because I will be on vacation starting the 16th. So definitely email me, um, before the 15th of this week so you can get your free reading. Otherwise you'll miss out. So, and I don't want that to happen. Um, so you will know who the winner is based on, um, I'll announce it at the end, okay? And my email address will also be at the end, but it's also down below, okay? I feel like it was a really long intro. I don't know why. Maybe because you guys are the first video I'm recording. <laughs> okay, so let's get into your um, self, what is going on? As I say, let's get into your self-care message because I'm seeing self here right on the top. Um, and this is a card that popped out and I was like, I'm going to use this card, but I'm also going to pull another one here. So let's start off with your overall energy this week. We're doing things a little different since Spirit wants me to go straight into your overall energy. So um, I heard the, the song uh, Love on Top by Beyonce as I was shuffling your cards and I'm like, ooh, she, she or he... I'm like, ooh, my goddesses need to put themselves first. They need to put themselves on top or they need to give themselves some more love. They need to make love a priority. There's something about putting love on top, okay? Or maybe you just need to listen to that song by Beyonce um, and maybe there's a message in the lyrics for you, okay? So then this self card popped out and I see all these hearts here and the, this goddess here is coming out of the cage and she is... um looks like she's putting herself first, right? She's like, I'm no longer going to stay behind this cage. I'm going to invite love in. And actually, I'm going to go get the love that I deserve. Um, and I was like, ooh, that's why I was hearing that song, okay? So we also have here on the bottom of the deck, it says, if beating yourself up worked, you'd be thin, rich, and happy. Try loving yourself instead, okay? So it's time for you to love yourself, goddess. It's time for you to focus on that self-love, okay, this week. I feel like that'll be the energy surrounding your journey. I feel like it's definitely going to help you radiate. It's going to help raise your vibrations. Um, you may also be just um, giving more love to those around you in your environment, in your space. You may, oh, Spirit saying that this week, you may actually feel like you have a cup full of love to offer others because, I don't know about you, but for me, if my cup is halfway empty, okay, or it's low, 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 my inner cup, of course, I don't have much energy to give to anybody else because I need to refill my cup first. 
So I feel like this week, your cup is going to be full, okay? And you're going to have plenty of energy. You're going to have plenty of passion, plenty of um, care, empathy, okay, to give out to others um, so that without depleting yourself, okay, which is a pretty big energy, especially when you're trying to conceive and there's so much going on in your energy and your space, you're trying to do all these actions and stuff. I feel like that is so, so, so great for you guys. Um, and I love it. Okay. I absolutely love it. So let's look at your affirmation here and then we'll go into another energy, um, card, a TTC action card, and then a yes or no answer. So what is your affirmation for my fire signs? For my fire sign spirit, what is their affirmation this week in their fertility journey? My fire signs. Thank you, spirit. We have the vessel. Oh my gosh, I love this. Look at this. Your cup is so full. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can see this. It's like light purple and then the dark purple line is right here. You guys are literally filled this week, okay? You are going to have an overflow of whatever this may be. This could be finances. This could be... Um, I don't know, but I just feel like you're doing something this week that is going to help you overflow in some area of your life and you are going to be able to give to others in such an amazing way. You may even be connecting with your spirit baby. You may be like have the energy to actually like truly deeply connect, okay, in a way that you've never been able to before. Um, it says my talent, skills, hobbies, relationships, passions, and strengths are things that define me. My body is a vessel that contains these wonderful attributes and to that I am grateful. So this is a wonderful affirmation to say you can screenshot it. Hopefully you guys can see that um, and you can screenshot it. Um, I will say it again. My talents, skills, hobbies, relationships, passions, and strengths are things that define me. My body is the vessel that contains these wonderful attributes and to that i am grateful you can also just say the affirmation that i am grateful for my talents i'm grateful for my skills i'm grateful for my hobbies i'm grateful for my relationships i'm grateful for my passions and i'm grateful for my strengths okay so whichever you feel most connected to but i honestly feel like you are going to be filled in such a way that all of these are going to come together um and <laughs> fill your cup to the brim so sorry, I'm sure you could probably hear my neighbors doing some lawn work. We're just gonna ignore that and just continue with our message. <laughs> but you guys are the vessels this week, okay, that are carrying um, everything that you have, I feel like have been working towards, okay, is coming towards you this week. Um, and I absolutely love that. Absolutely love that. I'm going to pull another um, message here, another energy message to see um, what your overall energy will be this week with this self here and that came out quite quickly time Okay, so you are giving yourself time. You are accepting time. You are understanding time this week a lot better Oh, some of you guys are going on vacation this week. Okay I feel like some of you guys are really just giving yourself that time to relax You're actually taking care of yourself in a, some sort of self-care way um, And like I said, you're accepting time. Okay, maybe you've been trying to conceive for some time or for a while I'm accepting time <laughs> Maybe you've been trying to conceive for a while and things just haven't been lining up like you'd like. Um, I feel like this week you're just kind of like, okay, divine timing. Timing is different. <laughs> so divine timing is at play here. You're kind of just coming into this realization where you're like, divine timing is at play. I'm okay with that. Let me do what I need to do, uh, you know, connecting with my doctors doing the workup, whatever it may be, continuing with my lifestyle, whether you've been doing it for a while or you just started, but being consistent with it, you're just kind of understanding that, okay, I it's going to take a little bit of time here and I'm okay with that. Um, it says time spent worrying is time spent. That's time you can never get back again, okay? Um, so if you find yourself getting into that worrisome energy this week, just remember that time spent worrying is time spent and that's just that. You just, you, you're not going to get that time back again. You might as well use that time um, in a more productive way, okay? Maybe you are worried, but you can journal your worries away, okay? Maybe you can journal something out. I know journal helps, journaling helps me, especially if I'm feeling in a really sour mood. I remember one time I was just feeling really down and I had to just write all of my you know, negative thoughts out on a piece of paper or in my journal. And then I ripped it out of my journal and I burned it and I put it back into Mother Earth so that she can transmute that energy. And I felt like 
I literally felt like such a heavy release, like a heavy load being released from my body. It was such an energetic process. Um, it was just, it was a really energetic process. It was a really, really heavy time in my life. But journaling helped me get all of that out. And so instead of me just sitting there and dwelling on whatever it was I was worrying about at that time, I took the time to be productive and write, okay? And I turned that into some sort of self-care activity for myself. And that's what I'm hearing here for my fire signs. If there's some type, some type of like energy that is coming up in you this week, definitely express it in some creative uh, fashion, which brings me back to that love on top message that I was saying earlier with the Beyonce song. Um, I was thinking, I'm like, ooh, my goddesses are getting, you know, passionate with their partners this week. Okay. Okay. So that could be that too. Okay. We did have the message of passion there. We had hobbies there. Uh, what else do we have, spirit? Relationships. Okay. Strength, talents, skills. Like you're understanding, like this week, you're understanding what your strengths are in your journey and what you may need help with. You're understanding. And you're okay with that, okay? You're understanding what your talents are, your abilities, that you're able to conceive this baby. Um, or maybe you are going to look into adoption. Or maybe you're going to look into, you know, some other avenue of bringing your spirit baby into your um, <laughs> into your space, your energetic space, okay? Or mothering your child. You know, there are multiple different options out there. And you're okay with that, okay? Or maybe you're looking into a new way of conceiving. And you're okay with that, okay? Okay. Um, you're also tapping into some hobbies here. I feel like traveling or having time in nature or, you know, doing things with your partner here with you in your relationship and things that you guys are passionate about this week. I feel like this is going to be a really good week for my, Le my Leos. Oh, my Leos. Okay. I'm pointing you guys out, but it's going to be a really good week for my fire signs. I feel like, um, in regards to, um, self, okay. Self and realization, which I absolutely love here. We also have, oh my gosh, that's so funny. I said Leos. We have the um, the Sovereign card here, okay, which represents like royalty, okay? Um, the color purple, the color gold may be significant to you this week. Um, you may really feel like on your high horse this week, which is amazing. You know, you guys should always put yourself on that pedestal um, and allow yourself to be treated like a queen, okay? The queen that you truly are, which queen, who is the queen bay? Yeah, Queen Queen Bay was out up here singing in my head, love on top. <laughs> um, so the Queen Bee herself. Uh, so we have here as one of your messages for this week after stability. Okay, so after stability, I feel like um, honestly, I don't even think that card belongs in this deck. Honestly, I think <laughs> that card is for a different deck. But um. Some of you guys, spirit is saying, spirit like this. No, it belongs in this deck at this moment because I needed it to come out. You got it, spirit. Um, so after stability, you guys may be conceiving, okay, this little one after you form some sort of stability within your emotions. Okay, I feel like for this, um, I was going to say for this pile, but for my fire signs, I feel like it's within uh, your emotional realm, okay, as well as within your mental stability. I'm not really seeing much physical stability here. I see the vessel. So it could be your body, okay, maybe there's some stability there, um, but, and self, but it's more so I feel like, oh, we also have the, the house in the beginning. Let me sh show you guys again. Um, we have the house in the beginning here where she was like, oops, in this cage here. Um, and that's kind of like her house. That's where she's been living, right? So maybe she's moving. Maybe you may be moving. Okay. Maybe you're relocating or something, but there's some sort of stability. I feel like that's going to be coming into your path that is going to set your foundation so that you guys can move forward with conception. Okay. Um, we also have here, listen to music. Oh my gosh, that is so crazy. Listen to music. Okay. Definitely listen to that song, Love on Top by Beyonce, because there is a message in there for you. Um, and then we have cervical mucus. Okay, so some of you guys are going to be noticing fertile cervical mucus this week, or you're going to be noticing something different with your cervical mucus. Um, definitely pay attention to that. Don't ignore it. Um, you know, if you feel like something is going on, uh, definitely con contact your doctor, of course. Um, if you feel like there's some questions that you may have. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have about cervical mucus that's coming through.
fertile cervical mucus, and then just pay attention to it in general. And then we have create a plan that actually works, okay? So um, you may be tweaking your plan. Maybe you don't have a fertility plan just yet, but um, for some of you guys who do, you may be tweaking it this week, and I, that's why I felt like there was like that time energy surrounding your, your journey this week, and maybe you're like, okay, I know it's going to take a little bit of time. Let me tweak some things, you know. I'm going to stop trying to rush um, and make things happen on my time. I understand divine timing is at work, um, which is a beautiful energy. I really feel a very light happy freeing that's the word thank you for freeing energy that's surrounding your fertility journey this week so definitely embrace that if you can this week okay my beautiful beautiful fire signs um let's look into your yes or no answer if you don't have a question right now you can skip this part and go into the uh giveaway winner announcement to see if it's you because it could be okay if you want to enter next week definitely put your name and date of birth down below um just first name and month and date is fine and i will add you to the will for next week's pick okay um if you do have a question then you can stay watch it now if you don't you can just skip this part like i said go to the giveaway winner announcement and then um come back later this week if you have a question and you need an answer for it from spirit um but if so if this is where we part <laughs> bye i'll see you next week if not let's continue on getting your answers so hold your question in your heart take a deep breath Bear for my fire signs, my fire signs. What is your answer? <laughs> All right. So for my fire signs, your answer is a yes, but not just any ordinary yes. We have a big, happy changes. And this is the energy that I am feeling around your journey. So that is confirmation for me as well. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize we have a passion card right here. Okay, like big passionate energy coming through this week for my goddesses. Okay, um... Big, happy changes coming to your journey. You could, like I said, be moving, traveling, relocating, making some sort of change in your stability, your finances, your body. Something is changing for the better. Um, and so definitely claim this message, my beautiful fire signs. Thank you so much for joining me on your reading. Congratulations again to the winner for this week. Definitely email me to claim your reading and I will send it out same day. Um, and yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.